Hi guys! I'm Teacher Ayan and welcome back to Grade 9 Math Class. Before we start, prepare the following. Pen and paper to write your solutions as we progress with our discussions. Your module so you can follow what I am presenting. And remember, you can always pause and play this video whenever necessary. You can even go back to the part of this video that you want to revisit to attain mastery. So let's start! For today's video, we will be learning on how to solve problems involving quadratic and rational algebraic equations. The first thing we're going to talk about are the most common keywords that you need to know based on the most common operations. And the four most common operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But the thing is, in most problems, you're not gonna always told to add or subtract. There are sometimes important keywords that you have to look for. For addition, we have the following. Sum plus added to more than, longer than, increased by, total. For subtraction, multiplication, division, and for equal sign. Let's have a short illustration on how to translate verbal sentence to mathematical sentence. So let's have an example number one. 12 plus a number. So if we will translate this into mathematical sentence, it will be 12 plus a number. Okay, so why x? x represents a number. You can use any letter in the alphabet. Okay, for 12 more than a number, the word than means we're going to switch 12 and a number. So if we are going to translate this literally, this will become 12 plus x. Uh, more than because it is for addition. But the word than, it means we're going to switch position like this. Because 12 more than a number, it means that 12 is being added to x. So here, okay lang naman na magkabaliktad sila kasi commutative naman sila. Pero pagdating sa subtraction kasi, iba na yun. Here's the example. The length of a rectangular floor is 5 meters longer than its width. The area of the floor is 84 meters squared. Pagpalagay natin na ito yung rectangle at ang width niya ay x. Tapos, according dito sa problem, ang length ng rectangle ay 5 meters longer than its width. So, kung ang width natin ay x at 5 meters longer than its width. So, kung maaalala ninyo, yung kaninang unang present ko na kapag merong than, ibig sabihin, switch natin yung 5 at saka yung width natin. Kaya, ang magiging representation ng length natin ay x plus 5 plus kasi longer. Okay, so switch natin si 5 at saka si width kaya naging x plus 5. So, yun yung representation naman natin ng length. And according dito sa problem, ang area ng rectangle ay 84 meters squared. Since we're talking about length, width, and area, let us identify the formula of area. So, the formula of area is equal to length times width. Now, let's apply this to our representations wherein your width is x and your length is x plus 5. So, this is the formula and the area is 84 is equals to multiply natin sa length na x plus 5 times x para sa width. At ito yung equation natin, then let's simplify this by, okay, so bring down natin yung 84, then i-distribute lang natin yung value sa labas ng parenthesis dito sa loob ng parenthesis. So, i-distribute lang natin siya, so x times x is equals to x squared, then x times 5 is equals to 5x. Uh, gagawin lang natin siya yung standard form quadratic equation, i-arrange lang natin siya. So, pwede kayo dito mag 
subtract both sides of the equation ng uh, 84 minus 84 para okay, para maging 0 yung left side ng equation. Kung nag-subtract kayo ng 84 sa left side, magsasubtract din kayo ng 84 sa right side. So, pwede rin naman ito yung tinatranspose lang natin tong 84 dito sa right side. So, ganun. Pwede rin ganun. Okay, so 84 minus 84 is equals to 0. And then, x squared, bring down lang natin x squared plus 5x minus 84. So, as you can see, naka-standard form of quadratic equation na siya. So, ito ngayon ang ilalagay nyo sa second column doon sa pinakita ko kanina sa learning task number 2. Para sa learning task number 2 ninyo doon sa module. Ngayon, okay lang guys na 0 ang nandito sa left side ninyo. So, walang problema naman yun. So, okay lang yan. Okay, ngayon naman, eh, tingnan ninyo ang learning task 3B and 4 ninyo sa inyong mga module. So, gagamitin lang natin yung naunang problems na ginamit natin kanina. Itutuloy lang natin siya sa pag-solve. Okay, so ito yung problem kanina. The length of a rectangular floor is 5 meters longer than its width. The area of the floor is 84 meters squared. Dinagdagan lang natin siya ng tanong na find its dimension. So, ito yung gagamitin nating problem. So, iku-continue lang natin. So, ito yung kaninang unang ginawa natin. Ito yung quadratic equation. Ito yung sinulat natin dun sa second column. So, para dito sa learning task 3B at saka 4, ganito ang gagawin natin. So, kung ano yung ginawa nyo doon sa learning task 2, itutuloy lang natin siya. Okay, to find its dimension, we will solve this quadratic equation by using factoring. So, you can use any method you want. So, for this, I will use factoring. And, sa factoring, mag-iisip kayo ng factor na kapag in natin, yung factor ng 84, ng negative 84 na yun, ang kakalabasan niya ay positive 5. Okay, so... Ito yung factor niya. So, 12 times negative 7 is negative 84. And 12 minus 7, the answer is positive 5. So, ito yung factor ng equation na ito. And then, isi-separate lang natin sila. Next, apply the zero product property as we set each factor equal to 0. So, first factor we have x plus 12 is equals to 0 and the second factor is x minus 7 is equals to 0. And to find the solutions or answers, so we have x is equals to negative 12. Since ang width natin ay x, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin ang negative 12, kaya i-disregard natin ang negative 12. So, ang next is x is equals to 7. Kung ang x natin ay 7, that means ito ang ating width. Okay, ang length natin ay 12. Kasi, according dun sa representation natin dito sa taas, ang length natin is x plus 5. So, papalitan lang natin yung value ng x na 7. So, 7 plus 5 is equals to 12. So, 12 natin, ito ang ating Length. So, to check, so mula dyan sa formula, area is equals to length times width. Ang area natin ay 84. Ang length na nakuha natin ay 12. At ang width natin ay 7. So, 12 times 7 is equals to 84. So, that's the length of the rectangle is 12 meters and its width is 7 Meter. So, yun po yung dimension ng rectangular floor natin. Note that there are conditions in a given problem which when translated to the equation form in one variable lead to a quadratic equation and two answers are obtained. In some problems, a set of answers can be discarded. For instance, negative dimensions of rectangles and the negative time are disregarded. That is what happened to our first example wherein negative 12 is being disregarded.